the key to this stuff is Do you nail every single hole in the flange? Stick with me here. <laughs> Welcome to Life on the Moose. Welcome back if you've been here before. Let's put some windows in. They're right down there in the pickup. They're gonna go right up there in the spur cabin. So I have everything I need except for that one window, we're gonna have one picture window, doesn't open, two feet by two feet, that is above the awning, that was delayed. That's gonna come in in about a week and a half. So we'll install that down the road. No worries here. I think we can get everything else done. The rain stopped about an hour ago. It looks like it's gonna be nice for about two or three days coming up. So let's do some exterior work, see how much we can get done. So before we jump right into window installation, I still have to cut out the sheathing that's under some of this wrap covering some parts of some windows. So I got to take care of that quick. We can get going on putting those windows in. Thanks for tuning in, by the way. I appreciate you swinging by. Nice to see you again. Well, let's get going. What a day. I didn't expect to be wearing a short sleeve shirt today when I got up this morning. It was like 45 degrees and raining. And now it's low 50s. But when the sun shines, gorgeous. Okay, let's get to work. So I don't have a handy little router for taking out this sheathing out of the windows. So I just pounded the nail in from the other side and I'm just gonna cut this out with a skill saw. The old fashioned way, the hard way, I know. But I don't wanna go buy that tool just for this. Maybe before I build a house. But for this, I think this will work. I'm assuming the top of this opening is level. Right? It's level. Sure it's level. <laughs> Okay, we're all cut out. I taped my Tyvek up, or my house wrap, so that's out of the way. And I trimmed it up to the edges, and I folded it into the inside. Now, I looked at several different contractors and how they install windows. Everyone had something that was different from each other. Some people said, wrap it to the inside. Some people actually cut it about an inch on the outside. So there's different ways to do a lot of things. One of the more common methods was up there to come in at a diagonal from the top, peel it up to get it out of the way, and that wrap will actually go on top of the window flange, on the outside of the window flange. It's all a shingle effect. Just kind of use your common sense. Water flows downhill. So I do have some of that stretchy tape you might have seen. That way I can actually stretch it out from the corners and have one continuous protection, one continuous layer. I did take the Tyvek tape because it's so thin. I did take it and stick it in the corner and I was able to press it flat. And even the wrinkles of it are so small, they won't get in the way. So I did that with each corner as well, just for one extra layer of protection. I would bet just about anything that water is never gonna make its way even past the trim I'm gonna put around the window, not to mention all the way into the wood, but Better be safe than sorry, right? Okay, well, I'm gonna get sticking and 
Stick with me here. <laughs> we'll get to work. Okay, I'm gonna use the edge of this quick square to press this into the corner because I don't want a big radius of tape because then you risk cutting it when you put the window in. And I want this tape to overlap the wrap as far as I can and still get a couple of inches on the sill. So I'm gonna go about an inch or so over the wrap. I think that'll be fine. The key to this stuff is really to apply a lot of pressure to make sure it sticks in place. They make rollers instead of this, <laughs> but I don't have that roller with me. So this will be fine as long as I make sure to apply pressure to everywhere on the surface. Here's where I can wrap this stuff around the corner, how flexible it is. Normally you'd have to cut this, but this you could actually stretch Helps when it's a little warmer out, but it's this will work. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna make one more pass with this stuff just to cover the whole sill. Probably overkill, but oh well. I get some practice in, right? I hope to be building a real house in the next year or two. Not going to wood, I hope. Hope it happens. One thing I was going to say about these sills, in a perfect world, I would have constructed these so that there's a slight tilt to the outside so that if water were to get up on the sill, it would go outside versus inside. I did not do that with this cabin. Didn't think it was necessary. Didn't want to really take the time to, to do it. So I didn't. <laughs> but I think this will all be more than fine. Okay, we're just about ready for window. The very last thing we want to do before we put the window in the opening is put a bead of silicone all the way around the edge. Make sure that flange embedded nicely, create that seal. But I don't want to put that silicone on the bottom here. The rule of thumb is never seal the bottom of anything. We want water to be able to get out. If in fact it ever did get in behind under this window, we want it to get out. So we do not want to seal up the bottom flange. At least that's my take on it. <laughs> have my continuous bead of caulk, somewhere quarter of an inch. I drew these little lines in here just so I would have a reference when I set my window in. I wanna make sure the window is even on both sides and has the same gap on both sides. So I put these lines on the other side too, because this is a one man show again. So that way I will know 
how far to slide the window right and left. I have these quarter inch shims, quarter inch on one side, of course. I'm gonna set them on the bottom. When I was researching this stuff, I found that most people recommended that you put this off of the sill just a little bit. So this opening is about a half an inch greater than the height of this window and the width of this window. Once I get it set in here, then I'm gonna level it up, make sure it's even right and left, and we'll go from there. You ready? <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna use these galvanized roofing nails, two inches. They have a nice flat and thin head on them, which is nice because that way the trim isn't too wonky when you put the trim on the window. So this will hold the flange down real nicely. Okay, which end do you want? You want the, this? Oh, oh, okay, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. I kind of expected that answer. <laughs> Oh man, does that feel good. Sun is shining. <sighs> Lift with your knees. Aha, it's in. Uh, so we're about one line away there, about one line away there. Eh, I guess where my level is, not here. <laughs> All right, this isn't gonna do it, but I think I'm close. I could probably walk away from this knowing that the silicone will probably hold it in place but probably isn't good enough for me right now. So I'm gonna stick one of these nails in here and hope that it's close. One thing I forgot to mention is you wanna pay attention to these weep holes down here. This is for water that gets in the tracks or inside the window frame for whatever reason. This gives it a place to drain. So obviously you want these in the bottom of the window. According to this, this side should be lifted up just a tad. So good, if this side gets lifted up, I can leave that nail there. So I'm gonna go on the inside and put a shim under here. I'll put a couple shims along this side just to make sure it's supported all the way underneath. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's make sure it slides okay. Smooth as a baby's bottom. Okay, that's perfect. I'm gonna finish nailing this window on. I'm gonna use every other hole in the flange that is there. I am very sure that's gonna be good enough. If this window ever falls out or leaks because there's not enough nails, I think we're gonna be just fine with every other nail. You gotta be careful when you're nailing these things. You can hit that window real easily. Knock on wood. Okay, it's all nailed up. I've made the comment on this channel before, don't necessarily do what I do. 
<laughs> I say that because I'm only going every other hole on the nails. If this was your house and it's being permitted, you have to think about things like warranties. Do what the manufacturer says. If the manufacturer of that window says nail every hole, then make sure you nail every hole because you don't want to avoid that warranty and run into problems later on. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to tape the sides and we're going to tape the top all the way up to the fold. And then once that's all taped, then we'll take that wrap and we'll fold it back down over the flange and then we're good to go. All right, let's get taping. I'm using a different tape for the sides and the top six inch tape. It has a backing that I have to peel off. Very sticky. I'm gonna go right up to the cut on above the window and then about three, four inches below the window. I want to make sure I cover 100% of the flange and also apply that pressure I was talking about earlier. Gonna do this in the bottom because for the same reason I didn't do the caulk in the bottom. I never want to trap any moisture on the bottom side of something. Let it drain if something gets in there, right? Flashing is on the sides and on the top. So now what I want to do is just take the tape off of here and I'm going to let this more or less hang right where it is. I'll put a piece of tape or two down here just to keep it from flapping in the wind. I'm going to stick one more piece of this wrap tape just right here in the corner where that meets, just to cover this edge up right here. Create that shingle effect we're talking about earlier. And then this window will be in. Okay, we're ready for window trim, which I'm not gonna do today. All right, 3.30, gets dark about 6.30, 7 o'clock here now. We can put another window in or two. Let's get this three footer in right behind me. Same side of the building. Still working in the sun, making progress.
another window in the books. Check it out. Two down, four to go. I think we can finish those four tomorrow. It doesn't look like it's getting dark now, but the sun is low in the sky. Okay, I'm going to do some cleanup, and I'll see you guys back here in the morning. What time do you want to be here? 7.30? 8 o'clock? Why don't we say 8.30? Okay, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. It's only about 45 degrees right now outside. So I brought all this tape and the silicone. I brought it all with me last night and left it in the cabin where it was warmer, obviously, all night. This is sticking real nicely. Just didn't want it to get too cold because it takes away the flexibility a little bit. But this looks good. See it okay? A little bit of shadow there. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see you have a clear view of that dead tree right there. My wife hates that. <laughs> okay. We'll get that tree cut down sooner or later. But for now, let's nail this window in. I'm really choking up on this hammer using very small swings. Like I mentioned, I don't want to hit this plastic or the glass. Last of the big ones. Here we go. Did you stretch this morning? Okay, just making sure. Okay. Holy cow, we're level. <laughs> That's close enough for a cabin in the middle of nowhere. Okay, two more complete. So what should we do now? Let's do, tell you what, let's do the back of the cabin instead of working in the glaring sun right here. Not that I don't mind the sun this time of year. Don't get me wrong, but let's get that back end. I want to get that two by two in first, I think. Get the ladder work out of the way and then maybe wrap up these two windows down here after that. You having fun yet? Have you put in windows of your own yet? 
Do you nail every single hole in the flange? I'm just curious. Okay, we're down to two. I'm gonna time myself on this window. I'm gonna try to do it in less than 20 minutes, start to finish. 3.32 right now. Here, I'll show you. Three, can you see that? Okay, it's upside down maybe. <laughs> 3.32. Okay, I'm gonna put this down and I'm not gonna make you watch it in slow motion. So I'm gonna speed it up and I'll tell you what time it is as soon as I get finished. Okay, let's get to work. make it but more to go are in at least the ones we have on site what do you think i'm happy with it i got a nasty sliver on that last one the last window it's like just crawling underneath my skin it's about that long on this finger i can feel it thank you guys for watching i appreciate that appreciate you tuning in thank you for subscribing and hitting that like button all those things matter they really do so just know i really appreciate it all right, next week, I think what we're gonna do is put a front door in. I haven't picked one up yet. I was thinking about making one. Ah, boy, that's an undertaking though. I don't think I'm going to make one, I just for time more than anything else. Yeah, doors are not cheap. Nothing is cheap right now, but time is money too, you know? So just trying to weigh time versus money and see how much time I have See how much money I don't have. <laughs> but we'll figure it out one way or another. We'll get that door in there. Yeah, I think we'll do that next week. Well, that's it. I gotta go back to the Red Moose Ranch. Get this sliver out of my finger. Sucker hurts. Wah. That's it. That's all she wrote. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Take care of yourself. Be safe out there. We'll see you next week.